Today I'm going to give you updates on the 51st through 60th products I've updated here, so let's get right to it. The 51st product I reviewed was True Touch, which is a pet de-shedding glove. Yeah, we're getting some fur, right? I noticed that when I do, if I do a little twist at the end, it kind of picks up the hair instead of having it looking like that. It kind of picks it up. I still use it on my pets sometimes, although it's not better than an actual de-shedding brush like this one right here. I find that it's best to use it in between full grooming sessions. The pets seem to like it, and it's something to kind of keep some of the shedding at bay, but it's not a full solution, but the pets seem to like it. Next up was Underlight, which is motion-activated accent lighting. It's worked pretty well, but the batteries haven't lasted as long as I expected. In fact, I had to change them a couple of times in only a few months. So here's me changing the batteries of them the last time. All right, here I am in my bathroom. This is where I ended up mounting my Underlight. And I'm changing the batteries because they burned out twice so far since I've had it. Both times they lasted about maybe a month. So I'm just finishing this up right here. That's the one thing is when you place this you have to kind of put it in a spot where it's easy to access this battery pack otherwise it might be a little bit awkward in my case i kind of picked this out on purpose but there we go nice accent lighting because the batteries don't work as long as i hoped rechargeable batteries are probably best for this one so under light it works okay but i wish the battery life was longer The 53rd product I reviewed was the Gotham Steel Crisper Tray, with a, which is a non-stick baking rack. I've already posted a recent update on this one when I made fried chicken in this and the copper crisper, and here's an excerpt of that one. These are all face down from where I sprayed the oil, so I'm going to spray the oil on this side. Just a light spray, I'm holding it about 12 inches away. Copper crisper, Gotham Crisper Tray. I'm using these tongs so I can see exactly what's left here so I'm not scraping anything off, just to see how much residue is left behind. Fully sprayed, 30 more minutes. Okay, I put heavier oil and flip these halfway through. Oh, I think they look a little bit crispier. Having used these for a few months, I don't think they're really designed that well for making a full meal from scratch. They're pretty good for warming up frozen food or warming up leftover pizza, which is about what I use it for most. But one thing I'll also point out is that the nonstick surface has not really held up very well. As you can see here, I mean, it's it's not that great. Fortunately, there's a solution for that. You just put tin foil down and it protects it. Um, the other thing is that it takes longer to make food in this than on a regular baking pan. I think because the food's not in contact with a hot surface. It's okay for reheating food or for frozen food, but I don't use it for making fresh meals. Number 54 was Rainbrella, which is a glass treatment for your windshields. And I did an extended review on that one over about a month and a half. It's the rain right now, and you can see that we've had some rain already. Okay, from this side has Rainbrella, that side has nothing. And I haven't really used it since then, but I thought I would use today as the occasion to start my update for it. So I'm going to go out there and put Rainbrella and Rain-X on my windshield to start what will eventually be my long-term update of that one. Rainbrella and Rain-X water repellent are both advertised as ways to keep water off of your windshield. Today I'm going to do a comparison of these two products, so let's get right to it. Oh shit. This is the, the Rainbrella side looks better just on this first one than the rain -X side. But this is only day one. Let's see how it goes over time. Number 55 is the Hurricane Spin Broom, which I also updated recently when I compared it to the Roto Sweep and the Easy Edge. Now that's something that my wife and I use every day. We tend to prefer these two, not so much the Roto Sweep. Um, I think it works pretty well, although there are some commenters that don't like it so much. So there are differences of opinion. I happen to like it, but there is one problem with all of these brooms, and that is that they collect pet hair. So watch this. That's what happens with pet hair on this, and you've got to clean it out with a special comb, or any comb really, but that's something that has to be cleaned pretty regularly. To me, that's not a deal breaker, but for other people, they seem to not like that aspect of it. So to me, the Hurricane Spin Broom is a pretty good product, but your mileage may definitely vary.
Next up was Handy Holder, which is a smartphone holder that can be used in the car or around the home. Now, I didn't have a lot of luck with that one. All right. Oh, shit. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. I can't even turn it because of the window. Oh, shit. look at that. When I start trying to rotate it, it fell right off. I found that the best use for handy holder in my case was as a desk mount for my smartphone, but eventually I didn't really use it. I took the mount off my phone and I put handy holder in the garage. So to me, handy holder wasn't very handy. Aqua Dog was number 57. Now it's a water bottle with a built-in bowl to use with your pets. Now I have three dogs, two of them didn't really take to it but one of them did, and my cat did as well, and surprisingly, my cat is the one that uses it the most. So, in my case, the Aqua Dog should probably be called Aqua Cat. EpiSmooth is the epilator marketed toward women that supposedly a superior hair removal device for only 10 bucks. Now, my wife and I both tried it, and we found that it didn't really remove hair hardly at all. It just took too long to have any positive results. So for us, Epilator has been relegated to a drawer and we barely use it since then. Pocket Hose Brass Bullet is number 59. It's supposed to be the toughest of all the entire Pocket Hose line. It worked pretty well for a couple of months, but when I did a test putting it outside in the sun and the heat, it burst after about an hour. What is going on here? Oh, that's just, that's terrible. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a good hose when it works, but you have to really take care of it by draining it when you're not in use, bring it inside, and not leaving it out in the sun. I recently cut the pocket hose brass bullet in half for part of another review, so let's open it up a little bit more and see what's inside. As you may have seen, the pocket hose brass bullet failed my test of being out in the yard under pressure in the sun for about an hour. So I thought it'd be interesting to see what happens if I cut it open and see what's inside. Right, here it is. That's a little bit smaller than I expected. I'm assuming that must expand, but there it is. It looks like it's maybe a quarter of an inch opening pocket hose, brass bullet that can't handle the heat. Clear TV Key is the 60th product I reviewed and it's kind of advertised like it might be a sort of Roku or Amazon Fire Stick where you get all these channels, but really it's just a television antenna. It's still attached to the same TV I did my review on, so let's go take a look and see how it works. Here's my son's TV. As you can see, the local channels come in nicely. These are all over-the-air broadcasts, just local channels, basically. Most of them look pretty good, and then, but it also depends on the, the strength of the signal itself. But um, this is the only TV in the house that doesn't have access to DirecTV, so he uses uh, Clear TV Key, which is right here. And um, it does a pretty good job. It picks up all the local channels. We have quite a few here in the Las Vegas Valley. Most of them look pretty good. Some of them look better than others. So for his purposes in my son's bedroom, Clear TV Key works pretty well. But keep in mind, it's just an antenna. It's not a Roku. It's not an Amazon Fire Stick. You're only going to get what's broadcast in your area. So there you have it. Products 51 through 60 reviewed right here in Freakin' Reviews. If I had to choose the best one of those 10, I'd probably go with the Hurricane Spin Broom because it's something we still use on a regular basis. Stay tuned in another month when I come back with another 10 product updates. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.